Hey, what's up, everybody? Hi, Priestess Nayla Latrice here to give you all your messages, okay? So we are just going to see what comes out and what Spirit has to say. Great Spirit, what messages do you have for whoever clicked on this video? What messages do you have for whoever has clicked onto this video? Oh. Great Spirit, what messages do you have for whoever clicked on this video? Okay. We have a few that popped out, okay? Um, the one that's really standing out to me most is the Seven of Swords. And then we also have this Four of Cups and this Ace of Cups. With this energy... Somebody could be trying to give you an offer, sneak in an offer, a love offer. Somebody could be trying to sneak back into your life here, um, give you something that you really aren't interested in or something like that. Or maybe somebody feels that you won't be interested in their, in their cup of love or something like that. Okay, you could be trying to escape or run away or get away from some type of a sneaky situation, deceptive situation, something like that. Okay, or maybe you're feeling lost and confused and kind of bothered and worried and kind of like, ugh, you know, that type of energy with this four of cups. Okay, but then you have a fresh new start that is coming in to, to help or something like that. I'm gonna put these two back though. Okay, with the seven. Of I was about to start talking about the Seven of Swords and Spirit, let me, here we go. So with the Seven of Swords and this Nine of Swords, this is your thoughts. You're allowing your thoughts to get the best of you. Whatever thoughts you have in your mind, it's, it's false, it's deceptive. The way you're thinking, it's like you're, you're, you're deceiving yourself with your own thoughts. Somebody could also be trying to man mentally manipulate you as well. Somebody may think that you're naive or that they can manipulate you or that they can get away with something, okay? Somebody could be trying to mentally project their negative thoughts onto you as well here, okay? Yeah, there's definitely something that is deceptive or something. This could be a strategy that you're completing or something. But with this seven of swords and this nine of swords, it's like, no, nah, I only want one spirit. I'm going to definitely clarify. What else? What is this spirit? Give me more information. We got the seven of swords and nine of swords. You're definitely um, something about the moon as well. Okay. You guys could be doing night work or night magic here. All these candles are lit. Some of you guys, your power could have gone out. You guys have to light some candles. Okay, definitely fire energy because there's fire in this one as well. You see the fire back there. So definitely fire is very present. Okay, you could be an air sign dealing with the fire sign here. Okay, um, the, 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 the fire sign could be being sneaky. Okay, or vice versa. Yeah, somebody could be juggling you or, you know, dating multiple people or something. Spirit, tell me more. But I feel like this could be you and your thoughts are getting the best of you. Keeping you up at night, stress, worry. But it's all false. It's not real. Something about the moon. It's only an illusion. It's like you have to change your thoughts. You have to work on your thoughts, okay? If you're like mentally, you may feel mentally bound or mentally trapped, okay? Yeah, you guys could be confused. This is another seven, the seven of swords, and we got the seven of cups here. Something about your mental space here. Your mental and emotional space, because the seven of cups is, is emotions. So your emotions are taking over you. You may feel like you're drowning in your emotions. You may have too many choices to make or you're confused because you have too many choices to make. So it's keeping you stagnant or keeping you in this cycle of th thoughts manifesting that's not working for you. You could be procrastinating on something or overthinking something. Oh my gosh, I split the deck and baby, we have the king and uh, the king and queen of cups here. Somebody could be thinking of you. Somebody may feel like you're their emotional match. 444 was on the timer. Somebody may feel like you are their emotional match. And this person could be thinking about you. There somebody, oh, thank you spirit. 
Somebody was sneaky towards you. Somebody was deceptive towards you. And this person is up thinking about how they were deceptive towards you. This person is thinking about how mean they were. This person tried to steal something from you. Not maybe physically. Could be. You know, they could have sold some money or something like that. I don't know. Um, they try to get away with something. Whatever they tried to get away with, whether it was emotional manipulation, whether they, you know, was like, oh, I can get whatever I want for so-and-so. You know, manipulating them is easy. It's like taking, you know, a, a candy from a baby or something like that. You you know what I mean? Um, it's like you take candy from a baby, the baby goes start making some noise. You feel me? So it ain't that easy because you got to shut the baby up. You, you feel me? Um that just went left in my head. But anyways, um, but this person is up thinking about the deception. It's like they're, they're being, uh, it's like they're, they're being, spirit is getting on them. Spirit is making them dream. Uh, thank you. They're having dream. Somebody is dreaming about the, 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 how they treated you and it's clouding their mind. They're, they're really in their head. They know that they fucked up. They know that you are a good person, that they shouldn't have did that to you. They know that they chose the wrong person to hurt or to try to manipulate you or to manipulate. You know, they chose the wrong person to try to get over mentally or to project on or, you know, try to deceive you. They, they did it to the wrong person. They didn't know that you was blessed and highly favored. They knew it, but they didn't know it. You feel me? They was like, oh, I'm, I'm going to get away with this. And them ancestors on that ass. Them ancestors got them dreaming about, you know, you and making them feel bad. They feel like shit. And they can't sleep. They're up. Maybe they want to contact you or something like that. Yeah, look, your ancestors saw everything. I'm telling you, this could have been years ago. I'm hearing five. This could have been up to five years ago. Somebody played you, deceived you or something like that. It could be even longer, you know. But what I'm saying is this, your ancestors was right there. They saw it the whole time. And I saw 707. That's divine. Your ancestors was right there seeing them try to sneak. Look, y'all over, over here having a kumbaya and, you know, you could have been over here, you know, just doing your thing, whatever. And somebody trying to be sneaky. You over here being good, being nice, being genuine to this person. And it's like they took your kindness for weakness you know there was like oh this person's so nice or whatever don't be nice be kind and then watch that too and when i say kind it just means you know it's like you see somebody coming out you know coming in the store with you you know keep the door open for them something like that you don't have to but those type of things you know but you ain't got to be nice to everybody or that's saying that you like pick me pick me it's giving me pick me energy don't be that way but maybe you were that way and somebody you know tried to get over on you or maybe they actually did but now they feeling bad they 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 feeling fucked up right now emotionally they they can't yeah this could have been a family situation a marriage but you have some type of new beginning here or they may want a new beginning with you but that ace of cups keeps coming out but yeah so that's what this is thank you spirit some of you guys could still be in your head procrastinating and you guys could be stressed and so forth about something as well. You know what I mean? But what it really is still is, yeah, spirit is, this is somebody else. Okay. Yeah. Somebody trapped in their head with this eight of swords, seven, eight, nine of swords. But you need to make a choice about something. You guys have a lot of options or you're keeping yourself confused about something. It's like, do I choose this? Do I choose that? I don't know which one to choose. Not making a choice is a choice. So you need to choose. Maybe you're afraid to make a choice. Maybe you're afraid you're going to make the wrong choice. But Spirit says all you do is win. Whatever choice you make is going to put you in a winning position here. Okay? Then I talk about the moon here. And look, we got the moon here as well. The moon is very significant, especially the full moon. Look, we got the moon, of course. The moon here. And then, like I said, the moon is here. So for sure, something about the moon. You guys are moon babies or you guys are a moon child. Okay? You guys um, could definitely be a cancer. But yeah, for sure, something with the moon here. Okay? Some type of illusion or something like that. Something isn't really the way it seems. 
you'll figure it out you'll discover what it is something could be coming to the surface some type of secret could be coming out as well but you're winning at something you're winning in life in general okay whoa this person sees that you're winning this person thank you this person sees that even though they try to stop you and try to be deceptive towards you they see that you're still winning they see that you're still on top they see that you're unaffected or unbothered or that you got over maybe you were bothered when whatever this is originally happened maybe it's multiple people you could be spirit anybody that has deceived you right now i feel like it could be groups of people that is dreaming about you right now because they hurt you and deceived you and you didn't even know but you know now this is the energy this is why y'all tap in see i can know the t it just depends on what t you want to know you feel me but it's a whole lot of tea out there okay um but yeah i just feel like a whole lot of people you know it's like it, they see that you're not you're unbothered or you got over it and it didn't stop you maybe at one point it did stop you and they like haha whatever you know it's like somebody was really didn't want to see you win they was really obviously because they was trying to, they were purposefully being deceptive they knew what they were doing but it's like you win anyways even if it's five years later, it's like maybe you were losing for, for, for the first four years after they did this shit. And they were like, Psh. but now they see you winning. And on not only are you winning at insult to injury, they keep thinking about you. They cannot stop. When they go to sleep, they waking up out of their sleep, dreaming uh, out of their dreams, thinking about you. They thinking about you. Before you go, they like, man, they don't even want to go to sleep because they know as soon as they go to sleep, they're going to have a dream about you. And then they wake up out their dream. And so since they can't sleep, they get out the bed and they probably just sitting at the window, just looking at the window like, oh, my gosh. They could be asking for your forgiveness. I'm also hearing that if whoever intuitively came to your mind or if you're dreaming about somebody of the past or something, it's because they're dreaming of you and how they treated you. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> that's why i had those dreams i've been having some crazy ass dreams how many of y'all been having the crazy ass dreams comment down below because baby them dreams be dreaming <laughs> them dreams be spilling the fucking tea Woo! i be hearing conversations oh mother Vinny, that's what you really think I'm okay. Y'all better y'all better tap into the spiritual shit. I I love it. I love it. Look, three celebrating. There's three of cups here. See, you're winning. You're celebrating life. They over here all stressed the fuck out and shit because <laughs> they wasn't even thinking about you at one point. It's like this could be somebody from a long time ago or recent. I don't know, but they stopped thinking about you because they didn't give a fuck i'm sorry to say they really just didn't care about you you know or they didn't love you the way you thought that you know maybe they loved you but they didn't love you you feel me because i ain't love you know um but they may have done things for you to think oh but they did love me because they did this this and this nah that was probably a front i'm just gonna say or you know they i ain't gonna tap into that however they stopped thinking about you for some period of time but now you back on their mind and spirit ain't letting up and you winning i don't know if somebody showed them something about so not only are they thinking about you dreaming about you but somehow recently they've heard about you they've seen you you've ran into them or something or somebody that y'all used to connect that was a, a, a um a common connector you know what i mean it's like they like oh yeah you saw so and so yeah they blow up or they they look different or they doing this now and they like what it's like they see that you're winning or they hear that you're winning or they that you're happy or that you're celebrating you get what i'm saying that you're not doing bad in life the fact that you're not doing bad in life th th this person just didn't want you to win they just didn't want you to be good or succeed it's kind of like all the good people it's like they had a mission to nope they're good 
nope, they're good. They they they, they it's like they were on a mission to bring good people down or something, and you were a good person they came across or something, and they wanted to bring you down. They don't want good people. It's like because they don't know how to be good within themselves. They want to. They could be a good person, but I'm here to hurt people, hurt people. This person is a hurt individual, but they refuse to heal. It's like narcissistic energy. And it's like they really could have played on your emotions and made you feel bad for them and sorry for them and all that other stuff. And you know what I mean? And it's like they're trapped in their own emotions and they don't know how to get out of it. So the only thing they know how to do is continue to, they don't want to heal and look at the ugly parts within them and do that shadow work and, you know, really face who they are. So it's easier for them to just keep hurting other people. And you were a victor of that. I ain't going to say victim. You were a victor of that. You overcame that. You feel me? And now they see that you're winning. They like, how am I still a fucking narcissist? Or how am I still unable to heal when I did all of this to this person and they healed from it? They still trying to figure out how to heal. And not only did you heal from all your traumas and your narcissism and all your karma shit and everything else, because we all didn't have the shit within us, right? We all decided to transmute that fucking energy and stump it to the fucking ground, never to return to be seen again. But not only did you heal from all of that, but you healed from the bullshit that they did too. And they still struggling just to heal in general. You get what I'm saying? This person has a lot of hurt from childhood. This person could have been sexually um, abused. A, a lot of different things could have taken place. So I see why it, it could be like, oh, you know, um, you feel sorry for this person or it was easy to kind of get you because of what they went through. They used what they went through to get you and to play on you. You feel me? And that could be why you stayed in a relationship with this person or whatever the case may be. This could be a friend even telling you her sob story and all of this stuff. And she played you. She got close to you just to hurt you or just to try to bring you down or any of that. You get what I'm saying? Whoever this is. Exes, family, whoever, whatever. You feel me? All the above, whatever. But it's like here you are happy and celebrating but this person is really hurt. And all they really want to do is heal. It's actually really sad. Because this person is really sad and hurting. Like I said, hurt people hurt people. But either way, you're moving forward. Cancer energy. I said that earlier with that moon. You Definitely cancer energy is here. It's kind of like cancer energy is like lurking. It's not here, but it's lurking. So there could be a cancer lurking around you, okay? Or this person could be a cancer. You're planting new seeds. Okay, we got the Knight of Cups that pops out as your final card here, okay? High Priestess at the bottom of the deck. And you know this, man. You followed your intuition. That's how you got out of this state. That's how you healed. Because you listened to your intuition. This person is not listening to their intuition. Or these people are not listening to their intuition. But we all know there's not too many chosen ones. They came upon a chosen one, which is you. With this Knight of uh, Cups, somebody is coming in and quickly. I know you hear those sirens here. So somebody is definitely coming in very, very quickly, okay? Rushing in. This is a romantic, uh, this could be somebody romantic, okay? Somebody may want to flirt with you. Yeah, you're starting over. You're living a new life. I'm here in a new home. You guys have, are building a home with, with your partner or with somebody right now as well is what I'm picking up on, okay? It's like, yeah, some type of new romantic or some type of new exciting energy, loving energy is coming in, okay? It's like being swept off of your feet type of energy, okay? Uh, maybe some of you guys write poetry as well, you know, like love poetry, very soft and feminine type of energy is here, okay? It's like, yeah, you, the conversations that you're entering is going to be things that, you know, like, <laughs> 
making you smile and you know, all of that type of stuff. That's the energy that I'm picking up here for you, okay? You're in your high priestess energy, all knowing, okay? Trusting yourself, trusting your intuition here. I'm like, it was one more. I knew it was something that's the one to come out. We have the seven of wands. Protect yourself. Protect your energy here. Protect your dreams is what I'm hearing. Like your dream state. So like using Florida water on the back of your neck, something like that before you go to sleep or, you know, putting dream catchers under your pillow. Um, there's different things that you guys can do, you know, to protect yourself, to protect your dreams here um, at night, you know, to keep uh, people from trying to project into your dreams. You feel me? Okay. Um, dreams, the dream world gets pretty crazy because that's the spiritual world. That's your, when you go to sleep is when you're really waking up. That's the real life you're living in your dreams. I'm just, that's where, when you go to sleep, that's when you're doing all your spiritual work. And your dreams are insight to what you're doing to help you know how to navigate that here on the 3D realm. But that's a whole nother topic. But this nine of pentacles here, right? It's like you're very independent. Yeah, it's like you're standing tall. You're standing in your power. And it's like you getting money. You getting bread is what I heard. You are the fucking bread truck. You know what I mean? It's like they don't like that. Maybe last thing they knew, you were broke. You were destitute. You were out. You were, you know, going from place to place. You know, sleeping on people's couches or, you know, homeless. And, you know, your funds just wasn't right. Or you were crying. You were sad you were depressed okay your clothing was wasn't what it is now your house wasn't what it is now your car wasn't is what it is now you've done complete changes because years have gone by and you've recovered from all of their bullshit very well this is somebody you were in a long-term relationship with long-term friendship with family somebody that was really did a number on you or either, even if it wasn't somebody long term, it could have been somebody that came in that you built a quick, deep connection with. And then they just ripped some shit right up under you. I ain't talking about, oh, we were together for a week or two. No, I'm talking about maybe y'all was together for a good six months. You get what I'm saying? You know, and it was very promising and so forth. And then, boom, it's like out of nowhere. It's like, what the fuck? You get what I'm saying? Something like that. Okay. But it's like this person feels bad because they felt, they've always felt bad, so to speak, because of that energy. But the way that they respond is through narcissism. You feel me? But again, this person is really hurt and it's making them even hurt that you are in this energy. They really want you is what I just heard. Somebody really actually wants you. But they know that they fucked up. They know that they're not in the right energy. They know that they will never have you. So it's like almost like they'd rather not see you happy because you can't be with them. And it's like they're not happy within themselves, which is why they can't have you. This person really needs to learn to heal. This person isn't contacting you. They, they have no way to contact you. Um, or maybe they do have a way to contact you, but they're not going to contact you or anything else. But this is what is going on with them. For some, somebody may try to contact, you know, but I don't feel they're trying to contact you or anything like that. Because, you know, it's like it's a love-hate relationship. They, they love you and hate you at the same time. That's jealousy. Jealousy is love and hate at the same time. Drake said it best. But you do have a new romantic lover that is coming in or something like that. You know, some, some type of dreamy time that is taking place in your life right now. This could be a dream job or, you know, the right type of friends, the right type of lover, or you just being happy and satisfied within yourself, you know, but something is coming, actually coming in, like something tangible, a person, um, a phone call or a job, money, I don't know. Something is coming in to change things up for you. You just wait on it. You just be patient. Watch, it's coming in for you, okay? You continue to stand tall and beautiful how you are and watch how these uh, blessings continue to flow to you, okay? I gotta go get me some food and, you know, get on with my uh, with, with what I need to do and go um, finish up my work and all of that other type of stuff, you know? But, um it's like, yeah, um, I definitely just wanted to get you guys these messages uh, for you guys, okay? It also could be raining where you are as well, okay? It's like you guys have a lot that is coming in for you, okay? 
it's like and protect it make sure you protect it make sure you stand up for yourself okay especially if this person did try to contact you make sure you do stand up for yourself but you guys these are your messages you guys can connect with me down below in the description bar go check out my soundcloud okay you guys book your readings your reiki your business sessions whatever it is you need down below in the description bar give this video a thumbs up and i will see y'all in the next one i am nayla latrice peace